my name is Alexandra and I just took my DAT and I was very excited with my scores. I earned a 22 total science and a 20 academic average. Before starting to prepare for my exam, I watched a lot of other test takers advice and I decided to contribute to the pre-dental community by giving my own advice um, on how I studied for the exam. I would advise any future test taker to buy the DAT Destroyer and the Math Destroyer. I found these resources extremely important in my, study, in my studies and I found them vital to my success on the exam. To begin, I started studying the biology section and to lay the groundwork, I used Advanced Placement Cliff's Notes and I found this to be a very great resource for uh, the general principles of biology. And then I moved to the DAT Destroyer, and even though there's upwards of 700 questions in the biology section of the Destroyer, I made, to, I made sure I went through each one three or four times to know every single concept in that book. I also used index cards for any important vocabulary words or concepts that I didn't understand, and I flipped through these flashcards cards essentially everywhere uh, until I knew them down pat. Then I moved to general chemistry where I used an old college textbook to lay the foundation and to fill in any gaps I did use the Khan Academy videos which I felt were very very great. The instructor spoke slow and I was able to understand any concepts that may have been confusing out of the textbook. Then I moved to the DAT Destroyer where I did every single chemistry question at least two times and I made sure to not only understand the question but also the wrong answers so that if any I was prepared for anything. Then I moved my studies to organic chemistry where I actually started with the DAT Destroyer. There's some very great roadmaps uh, which encompasses all of the um, uh, reactions in organic chemistry and I went through these once and found the ones I wasn't comfortable with and then I went back to my college textbook and learned those concepts so that when I went back to the DAT destroyer I was ready with the knowledge I needed to answer the questions. Then I went through every question one or two times to make sure I understood every single concept. If I still didn't understand a reaction or one of the laboratory technique concepts, I used index cards and flipped through those everywhere until I understood everything. And then I moved on to the math section where I also needed to lay some groundwork. So I did watch the Khan Academy videos for algebra and trigonometry and I found those were very, very helpful um, as I did in the general chemistry section. I then moved to the math destroyer and I didn't actually use this as a time test book. I went through every single question very slowly until I understood the concepts. Then as I started to work through the book, I believe there are 16 or 17 tests, I, I started to gain speed as I saw repeated questions over and over. I did this until I was comfortable and ready to walk into the exam. Now for the PAT and the DH, er, for the PAT and the reading sections, I studied those throughout my entire course of studies so I could make sure, because I feel like you need to spend a lot of time on these concepts. And for the PAT, I used Crack the PAT, and I found this to be a very, very great resource. I also used the Kaplan book, which I also found to be great, especially when traveling because it's an actual book that you can hold. For reading, I turned to the Scientific American Journal, and I used different um, uh, passages that they have. Uh, or research articles and I started timing myself with, when reading those and I gave myself less and less time so that when I got to the actual exam I was able to read a scientific article in more or less fast time. So in summary, I would recommend, I would absolutely recommend buying the DAT Destroyer along with the Math Destroyer. I found these to be very, very, very essential and vital in my studies. I would also recommend buying Crack the Pat and the um, Advanced Placement Cliff Notes and logging on to Khan Academy for anything that you need to fill in the gaps with the sciences. I wish you all the best of luck with your studies.